worth being many other places in besides the house of God. And I'm glad that he's not the boss, that he's not in control. You know, God is dealing with, with the heart tonight. And I urge you, if, if God is pecking at your heart's door, please open up and let him come in. Because the Bible says, don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. Because today is the day of salvation. There have been many that had intentions to, to pray tomorrow, Brother Gary, but the devil had set a trap, a snare somewhere uh, that caused them to not to get that other opportunity that they said that they would pray tomorrow. I believe that Brother Dale that there's a lot laying in the graveyard yes, wish, no doubt, when the day of judgment come, wish that they could just had one more day, Brother Gary, to, to give their life to God and make yes. things right. You know, it's a dangerous thing to reject God. I know I run from God, but God was merciful. God gave me another chance because he had a work for me to do, and the devil, Brother Gary, tried every way to stop it. But I'm glad that God was in control. Sister Linda said, no, he's mine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, gonna to let you destroy him. He even tried to destroy me, but God had his hand upon us. We don't know how blessed that we are to be able to have a place to go and pray, to have an opportunity to cry out to God, Brother David, that the blood would be applied to our life, Brother Dewey, because many had died that wish, no doubt, Sister Linda, that when they stand before Jesus, that they will say, God, give me one more chance, but it's going to be too late. Today is the day of salvation. So if you got a, if you got something in your life that you need to get rid of, I'm sure you know about it. We don't have to know about it as long as you and God knows about it. That's all that counts. I believe, Sister Linda, today that's what a lot of the problem is, that we have got in the way of Brother Gary. We have got ourselves between God and his vessels and messed up what God wanted to do. But we need to get ourselves out of the way and say, God, you have your way because this is your now. We give this night to you. If God interrupts my preachers and calls you to come and pray, obey God. God knows what he's doing. Uh, Brother, I've told you there's been a lot of uh, times that we may have missed God because we want to do something our way. But, Sister Linda, I come tonight to obey God. I come tonight to say, Lord, I love you. I'm yours. You do what you want. You're the boss. I'm just a working with you, Brother Dewey. I know that God is on his way back for his church. Uh, they not much time left to be ready, but one thing about it, uh, we better be examining ourselves and say, God, if there's anything, if there's any spot in my life, get it out of me, Jesus. Uh, I want the blood to be applied to my life, Brother Gary. Uh, I want it all over me because God uh, is not coming back for a church uh, that's spotted with the world, that's not spotted with sin, uh, but he's coming back for a church, Sister uh, Missy, that's a, that's a garment, the robe is white. Uh, I want to be pure and white for God. Uh, I appreciate God tonight, Brother David, because I uh, I know that he has uh, saved me. Uh, he has filled me with the Holy Ghost and started me on the way. Uh, and the devil, Brother Gary, has fought me many steps of the way. Uh, but one thing about it, I can look over beyond uh, uh, where I'm going. I can see Jesus uh, standing uh, uh, with outstretched hands saying, uh, uh, Come on, tell me I'm here for you. Uh, what you're coming through is just making you stronger. Uh, uh, that I may be able to use you uh, uh, to give a word to somebody that needs a word. Uh, uh, Brother Devil, we need to stand in these last days uh, and tell this generation uh, uh, they need a harsh rap. Brother Gary, uh, because this thing is just about over. Uh, we have had for many years uh, that Jesus is a coming church. Uh, uh, he's a coming again. Uh, uh, you better be ready. You better have the blood uh, applied to your life because uh, uh, this is just about over. I want to be ready for him, Brother Gary. I'm magnifying. Right. He's the best thing that ever happened to me, Sister Linda. Uh, without God, what would we be? We would be nothing without God. Uh, I tell God so many times, I say, God, without you, uh, I'm nothing. I'm nothing without you, Jesus. Uh, I want more of you. Uh, I'm glad I had that road to Damascus spell with him, Brother Gary. Uh, I'm glad I had that experience with him. Uh, uh, one day I heard him call my name uh, and say, look to me, I'm what you need. Uh, uh, this world has nothing for you uh, but corruption. But God uh, is going to church, Brother Gary, that loves him. Uh, that's proud to be called by his name. Uh, a church we need to tell. Uh, of this world about Jesus Christ, uh, of the one that hung on the cross uh, and shed his blood for us. Uh, and that's what the world needs to get back to, Brother Gary. Uh, America has strayed away from God. Uh, my God has got somebody uh, that the devil has put down, uh, a persecutor that's going to stand for him, uh, that's going to tell the truth like it is, uh, and that you need a blood applied to your life. Uh, and he's real. He's able to keep us if we'll let him, Brother Gary. He said in his word, I'm able to do exceedingly bounty by that which you ask or think. Uh, it's according to us, according to the power that worketh in you. I'm glad to be called by his name, Brother Frankie. 
And the devil don't like the name of Jesus. The devil don't like uh, but like, uh, when we cry out to the holy name uh, of the one that shed the blood on the cross. Uh, and that we could be a people that go free for him, Sister Linda. I know that God is coming back. Uh, and why you say that? Because uh, I can feel it in my bones. Uh, that this thing, Brother God, is about over with. Uh, he said, as it was in the days of Noah, it so shall it be again. Uh, but you can look around. They're doing everything. Uh, uh, Brother Dewey, uh, uh, that they was not going in a storm tomorrow, Brother God. Uh, uh, they don't have no blessing in what they're doing. Uh, uh, why? Because sin uh, is stuck over this world. Uh, uh, let down on the name of Jesus. Uh, it's time that we rise uh, and let the devil know uh, uh, that we're Jesus filled, a uh, uh, Holy Ghost filled. Uh, uh, Jesus called Brother David. Uh, I want to stand for him, Brother God. He's real, yes. Give him a hand. I want to take my time tonight. I studied in this message a month ago. And God quickened back to me, Brother Gary, yesterday morning. God knows what he's doing, don't he? We've got to be obedient to God. We can't do it our way. We've got to let God have his way. I want God to move, Sister Linda, in my life. I want him to be God. I don't want him to... Uh, to look at me and say, well, I could have done this and I could have done that. And me know that I stood in the way of God. But I want God to have his way in my life and in my ministry. Without God, I'm nothing. Y'all pray for me when you pray. If you want to read with me, you can go to first chapter of Philippians. <coughs> we'll start at verse 3. Hallelujah. Chapter 1, verse 3. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making requests with joy for your fellowship in the gospel for the, for the first, from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Even that is it meet for me to thank this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch both in my bonds and in, in the defense of confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers of my grace. For, for God is my record, how great I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. And this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. You can be seated if you want. I like the title of this message tonight. God will be there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's good to know that, that we got a God, Brother Gary. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. He said, I'll go all the way to the end. I, I appreciate the word of God. I appreciate him because I know what he's doing. I know the word that he has sent to us for, for so many years that we have took for granted for so long. But I believe it's time that we take notice, Brother Otto, what God is speaking to his church. I, I believe today that there's been so many people that the devil has caused to, uh, to wander astray, caused them uh, to look off to the left or to the right because he had told them there's no use in going, there's no use in, in, in praying, there's no use in, in reading, there's no use in seeking me, going to church or, uh, and all these other things. But God has told us that that the work that he had begun in us, he would perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. You know, I appreciate God, Brother Otto, because I know that when he begins something, he's not going to up and quit on it, Brother Dewey, because he is not a quitter. And God's not coming back for a church, Brother Guy, and that's a quitting, that's a throwing our hands up. Now, Paul, uh, he spoke in the Word. He said, I'm persuaded that nothing's going to separate me from the, uh, from the love of Jesus Christ. You know, I believe, uh, Brother Dewey, that's the time that we're living in, that we need to get the seal of God in our life. I believe that when Moses went down there to Egypt to lead the children out of Egypt, uh, uh, how the devil many times, Brother Otto, fought him and told him uh, uh, that you will find a uh, losing battle. I'm going to defeat you. I turn that wilderness because uh, uh, there's no food, there's no water, there's nothing out there for you. And, but God told him to do what he told him to do. And Moses uh, uh, stood and obeyed God and went out there. Uh, he went down in Egypt again to, to bring the children out of their sister land. Uh, he began to do what God told him to do. Uh, and from that day on, uh, you know uh, how that God gave him water. He gave he gave them uh, uh, quails. He gave them meat to eat, Brother Otto. But yes, they didn't believe uh, uh, what God was going to do for them uh, until it come right down to the 
in. Uh, when they send their enemy destroyed, uh, uh, what's to show on the sea? The Bible says in they believe God. Uh, they fear God and believe God in Moses. Uh, the church, we need to know that God uh, is going to be there with us. We need to stand uh, and let the devil know, Brother David, uh, that we're not going to be one that he can just walk over uh, because we can look beyond the storm uh, and we can see Jesus is standing uh, saying, come to me. Uh, I told you to come to me. I'm going to uh, stand for you. Uh, the church, we need to let the world know uh, that God is coming back uh, for a church uh, that's called by his name uh, and that's still going to do it and fought the powers of hell. Uh, but we need to let this world uh, know that Jesus, uh, uh, Brother Gary, is real. This Jesus uh, uh, that they put in the tomb, uh, and he's not there, Brother Dewey. Uh, he lives in his church. Uh, he lives within his people, Brother Otto. Uh, uh, the devil has defeated the church uh, along with us, Sister Linda. Uh, uh, we need to rise. Uh, uh, let the devil know, Brother Dewey. Uh, uh, we're not going to be defeated. Uh, if God took Moses to the wilderness, uh, it's nothing too hard for him. Uh, uh, Jeremiah said it was nothing uh, uh, too hard for you. <laughs> He's real, Brother Gary. I know that God is is real. A sister in I know that God has got a church, uh, a brother God that's going to stand uh, on the word. Uh, God has got a church that he has uh, chosen now from among uh, this wicked generation uh, uh, that has borrowed his name. Uh, it's not going to set back. Uh, a sister in let the devil uh, uh, cheat them everything that God has given us. Uh, but we've been called by his name. Uh, uh, we know that God has begun a good work in us, brother Gary. Uh, uh, we know that God uh, has called us to do something for him. Uh, and we're going to do it. Uh, uh, he may fight us, but I got news for him, Brother Dewey. Are we going to stand on the word? Are we going to stand on the promises? Are we going to stand on the call of God? And let that devil know I'm going to break it and we're not going to back down. Why? Because we hear Jesus say, Go and preach my word. Go and preach the gospel to this dying generation, to this generation that has rebelled against the name, against the truth, against the word. The church will realize God is going to work for us. I know that God is is coming back, Brother Gary. The devil has fought me long enough, Brother Dewey. He's fought you long enough, and he's fought some of y'all long enough. It's time that we should let the devil know uh, that we're not going to be so easy defeated. Uh, it's time that we let the devil know uh, that we're claiming our children, uh, that we're claiming our brother or sister, uh, or mother or daddy, uh, or wife or husband. Uh, church, it's time that we put the word of God uh, into action. It's time, uh, uh, Sister Lindley, we let that uh, land devil know uh, that we're not going to be uh, so easy defeated. Uh, church, we need to let the devil uh, know that we'll be called by his name, uh, and that we're going to do what he called us to do. Uh, I was reading about old Peter when they uh, put him in jail. Between those two uh, soldiers, uh, Peter slept like a baby, Brother Dewey. I believe that, uh, uh, that he wasn't worried about nothing, Sister Missy, uh, because he knew that God was going to come on the scene. Uh, all he had to do was just wait patiently. And the Bible it speaks about when, uh, and when he came down, uh, he sent an angel down and he spoke him on the side uh, and told him to go on his uh, uh, sandals and, uh, and get out of there. In other words, uh, I'm getting you out of here. You waited on me. Uh, I told you I would come and get you. Uh, and you didn't get worried. Uh, and you didn't pace back and through. Uh, but you wait patiently. Sometimes, uh, but a lot of times we get uh, excited that, uh, that the devil knows that. Uh, he begins to walk for our mind. Uh, and when God has told us uh, to do something, wait upon God. Uh, and God will take you through the wilderness. Uh, and God will give you exactly uh, what you need uh, and to keep you in a time uh, that the devil will bow on you uh, and rise to your feet uh, and say, Devil, uh, you're not going to stop me uh, because Jesus uh, has bought me with the power of his blood. <laughs> when old Saul, when old Paul was, and Silas was put in jail, what they do, they begin to sing and praise to God. And about midnight, the prisoner not heard them, and there was an earthquake. Every word that God came on the scene, there was a shaking, and there was a noise. 
uh, this church world today, Brother Dooley, uh, it's fixing to see uh, the real seed of God uh, begin to come alive. Uh, uh, this false world, uh, this false doctrine, Brother Guy, uh, is put down in Jesus' name, people. Uh, and But God is starting to work in us. Uh, and He's going to show uh, in these last days the real uh, from the false. Uh, and Brother David, I want to stand for Him. Uh, I want to be part of the real church. Uh, I don't want to be no uh, a false prophet. Uh, I don't want to be somebody uh, that believes that they love God uh, in the United States. And my brother Gary, I want to stand for him uh, and let the world know uh, that God is able to raise us up uh, if we abide in his words uh, and his words abide in us. Uh, he said, that's what you will, and it shall be given unto you. Uh, and the church for today, uh, and brother Gary, they're not eating another word. Uh, and that's why they're so dead. Uh, and the word of God will make you alive. Uh, if you read and seek God, uh, and you're going to have life. Uh, he said, he said, point of wheat, uh, the fall into the ground, dies by the long. Uh, but if it die, we'll bring forth much. Uh, but this church for the day uh, is not willing to die, brother Dewey. Uh, but God has got a church, uh, and it's willing, brother David, uh, and it's stand and die to the world. Uh, and let God's word uh, become a life in us. Uh, he's real. He will do what he said he would do. Uh, if God said that he will perform the word in you, a work in you, a stand on the word of God. Uh, and God will do exactly what he said. Uh, and Paul said that. Uh, one place there, Sister Linda, oh, Paul said, I'm persuaded that the things that he had promised, he was also able to perform it. We let the devil see the self so much, Sister Linda, that it's not funny. When God begins to do a work in you, the first thing that the, that the devil will do, he'll come around. Uh, there's no use for you to sing, and ain't nobody wants to hear you sing. And when God gave you that song, he wanted you to sing it. Uh, and when you get up to testify, the devil will say, uh, there's no use in testifying. Uh, ain't nobody wants to hear you testify. And but God gave you a testimony. Uh, but stand up and give it if it's the same one every night. Uh, and God has called us to do a work. Uh, he's not going to let the devil destroy you uh, in your willingness. Uh, and one thing about a brother Billy, uh, I believe that God is going to come through uh, regardless of what the devil says. Uh, and brother God, we've been squat too long. Uh, and we need to stand uh, and let this world know uh, that we're proud to be called uh, and by his name and by his grace. <laughs> being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He said that in Matthew a chapter 1, a virgin shall bring forth a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which being interpreted, God with us. What more do we need us to go on, Brother Kerry? What more do we need to go on in the Word of God? If the Word of God will not stand, I'll quit preaching tonight by what I told. And one thing about it, we got the revelation of His Word. And we got the Word of God to stand on. And we're going to stand on the Word, Brother Guy. I appreciate what God has done here for the last three years of my life. And Brother David, there's been many trials. And there's been many storms. And there's been many afflictions. And the one thing about it, we know that God will deliver them. And that's called by His name. And He knows one thing for sure. But them that have been proud by the blood of Jesus. Christ, uh, and you can bet that the devil uh, will be after you. Uh, and why? Because uh, he sees something in your life uh, that begins to take shape uh, that he's going to try to stop. Uh, but so stand on the word of God uh, and let the devil know uh, that you're going to stand for what's right, uh, for what's real. Give him a hand. <laughs> Listen to this. He said, Many are the fictions of the righteousness, but the Lord. Delivered him out of them all. Many other afflictions of the righteousness. Paul said, Paul said this in the, in the gospel. He said, Affliction, persecution came to me at Antioch. That out of all the persecution, God was able to deliver him. When the devil comes at you and tries to, tries to put you down, tries to say that you're no good, 
and that you'll know no use for none. And God will be there with you. God will be able to take you through the storms. Uh, and when Moses thought the children out of Egypt, Sister Linda, every time they come up against a little battle, and they say, why did you bring us up here to die? And there's no graves here. And but God know what he was doing. Moses didn't let the people uh, discourage his heart. Uh, and Moses didn't let the devil uh, uh, cause him to turn around and go back. Uh, and like so many today has done. Uh, and the devil has caused me, Brother Billy, uh, to turn and go back. Uh, and but God has got somebody uh, that's just going to tell you the truth. Uh, and God's got somebody uh, that is going to send a word to you. Uh, but for the last time, uh, as God is speaking to your heart, uh, the church listen to him. Uh, because the devil uh, does not want to go to break you. Uh, to enjoy uh, the word of God. He don't want to enjoy uh, the happiness, the peace, uh, uh, the comfort that God gives us. Uh, uh, this is no more, uh, uh, no rough way. The Bible says uh, uh, that the word of transgression is hard. Uh, I found nothing no better, Sister Linda, uh, in what God is doing in my life today. Uh, and the devil, Brother Billy, may fight you, uh, but stand on the word of God. Uh, and Brother Phil, he may come at you, but uh, stand on the word of God. Uh, if God be for you, who uh, can be against you? Uh, and the Bible says that uh, uh, one thing that for sure uh, knows them that uh, the seal of God. God will take care of us. Having this seal, God knows them that are his. He knows this brother guy. He hears us when we pray. He knows everything about us, Brother Davis. When God sends us out somewhere to do a work for him, and the devil will say there's no use to go. And nobody wants to hear you. Nobody wants to uh, wants to listen to you. Uh, God has got somebody uh, that is sending a word to. And uh, God has got somebody sitting there uh, uh, that needs a word. Uh, uh, Paul said, what was to me if I preached not the gospel? Uh, uh, many days, uh, uh, Brother Billy, no doubt. Uh, uh, Paul preached the devil, feed him, told him, uh, uh, you never done no good but one thing about uh, And God know what he was uh, doing. Uh, and we know Paul silence was in uh, in that Roman jail. Uh, and he began to sing and praise for the guy. And God came on the scene. Uh, and at the end of it, uh, the old children will save him and his household. They will save by uh, because God knows what he was doing. The devil tried to discourage him and defeat him, but God knew what he was doing. And Paul and Silas, they begin to sing to God. Uh, and sometimes we need uh, to sing when we're just waiting on God. Uh, and let the devil know that we'll make a melody in the heart to God. Uh, and many times, uh, and that when somebody in the into a battle, they rock toe, and the devil calls them to throw up their hands. Uh, and Brother God, go back into Egypt. Uh, and the God is going to have somebody, uh, a sister in the school go, uh, regardless of what the devil says, uh, or what he does. Uh, and God is going to church. Uh, uh, brother Frankie, uh, that's coming through the fire, Brother David. Uh, I'm going to stand for him, Brother Guy. Uh, in his last days that we live in, uh, I'm going to tell somebody about Jesus. Uh, uh, why? Because uh, I know that he's all you need. Uh, when Jesus comes into your life, uh, you will find nothing no better. Uh, you will find nothing that will satisfy you uh, like the love that Jesus will. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said, I didn't give you the spirit of fear. But a power of love and a sound mind. When God does the work, Brother David, the devil don't like us. When God begins to do a work in us, he begins to perform that work that he said he would do. And the devil will come, Sister Lena, every way that he can and try to cause you to be discouraged. He will try to cause you to give up and throw up your hands and say, I can't make it, I can't make it. And let God be for us. Who can be against us? Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the night, than he that's in the world. And the Bible says that uh, uh, weeping may uh, be for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Uh, the church, we need to let this world know uh, that Jesus is coming back soon. Uh, and we need to stand and tell uh, about the newly just dying generation uh, about Jesus. Uh, and the devil's telling about everything else. Uh, but we need to stand, uh, uh, Sister Lynn, and tell them about uh, this man called Jesus. Uh, and that the world hates uh, and that the world wants nothing to do with Brother Artola. But I'm glad to know uh, that Jesus is coming back, Brother Guy. Uh, I'm glad to know uh, and that he started to work in me. Uh, and there's nothing the devil can do about it. Uh, he may try to fight it, uh, but he can't stop a while because God is in control. He's in control. <laughs> He's able to do it. He's able to do it if we're ready. God won't know Brother Artola. Had to get out of the way and let him be God. He's one of this brother guy. 
uh, to do what he says, uh, uh, preach what he gives us, uh, uh, sing what he gives us. Uh, uh, many times we miss him because uh, uh, we want to do it our way, but God uh, has got somebody that's going to say, God, you do it your way. Uh, God, you do it your way, Lord, uh, because there's somebody that needs you. Uh, uh, somebody's got to uh, get a part through to you. Uh, God uh, knows uh, uh, them there he is. Uh, uh, somebody got a part through for you. Uh, uh, look up and tell it all, Joe. Uh, he said, when you fall into diverse temptation, uh, uh, Brother God, I appreciate him. I appreciate him, Sister Linda. <laughs> because I know what he has started in us, he will finish it. He will finish it. Well, old Daniel, the Bible says that he had an excellent spirit. The king of the government's places and all, they couldn't stand him. They tried to find fault in him, but I told him, but they couldn't find fault in him. Why? Because God was doing something in his life. They said, we know what we do. We'll find against him concerning his God. They knew old Daniel prayed three times a day. This church brother day is not praying like that brother David. They're not praying like a God who wants us to pray. I want to be what God tells me to be, Brother Billy. Uh, and when they took old Daniel down, I brought a guy and thought he was in that line then. Uh, I believe old Daniel just went right on to sleep. Uh, why? Because God was doing the work. Uh, and God was doing something uh, uh, that Daniel may not have understood. Uh, and when Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego was told in that son of the old king looking out, he said, I see one like unto the son of man. Uh, and that God was in the fire with him. Uh, and when he in the fire, I know that God is in our with you. You're not in that thing alone. Uh, and when old Daniel, when old Shadrach, uh, and Meshach and Abednego, when they come out of uh, uh, the old king uh, uh, said there's going to be a word spoken against uh, uh, God, these men, uh, the time God gets done with us, uh, and the devil will know that I told her, uh, uh, when we're standing with God, uh, uh, when we hear you complaining, uh, he's going to know Brother David uh, uh, that we're getting a hold of uh, uh, this man called Jesus, a uh, uh, church we want to give up too easy, uh, but God is not coming back, Brother God, uh, for a quarter. I love him. I appreciate him. I know that God is, is coming back, Brother Gary. I'm going to be ready. I pray God if there's anything in my life that's not right, if there's anything in my life that's going to keep me out of heaven. You get it out of me now. Get it out of me while I've got the chance to get along with you and get rid of it because and the devil will try to put things on us for the guy uh, and that may not be by, in God's eyes. Uh, but we've got to examine ourselves every day, brother. I told you told to be an example to the flock. Uh, the church, we need to stand uh, and let this world know uh, that we're being called by Jesus' name, brother David. Uh, and we're going to leave like the word says. Uh, and many times you hear people say, uh, if they're going to heaven, I know I'm going. Uh, but sister Lynn, I don't want people... Uh, but to look at my life and say, uh, if that man's going to heaven, uh, I know I'm going. But when they see my life, uh, Brother Frank, I want to know uh, that Jesus uh, is in control. I want to know uh, that Jesus is going to work uh, and that the devil can't stop. Uh, and Brother David, so many times uh, that we let this world uh, get to us, but we need to stand uh, and get to the world. Uh, and Brother Frank, this world don't like us uh, because Sister Missy, uh, we're called by his name. Uh, and the devil hates the Jesus name people. <laughs> he said, we which live always suffer persecution for the name of Jesus. <laughs> that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. That God is doing a work. A brother I told him these last days in his church. I believe Sister Missy that he's doing a quick work in his people. I believe that the powers of hell today, brother Guy, will find hell best. I like that saying, I don't know if that was you said or who, but we'll find health best. Those children, Brother Frankie, will find health best. It's going to take uh, the church to get a hold of God uh, for these generations, Brother David, that we live in. Uh, because we're living now, uh, exactly like Son of Gomorrah. He said, It shall be again. Uh, you can look at people, Sister Lena, uh, and they're doing everything in the world, uh, and they don't care what you say uh, or what you tell them. They think this, and that you have to the coast when you begin to uh, uh, tell them about Jesus. Uh, and my Brother Frankie, we're not scared. Uh, and what the devil says he's going to do to us. Uh, 
But Sister Lena, we're not going to back down now. But when he says, I'll blow your head off, we're going to stand for him now. Because if we die, it'll be a gain. Jesus is coming back for his church, but a guy that stood by the word of God. I got to leave him by the word of God. I got to stay in brother David. I was leaving the word, I'm preaching the word, I'm being an example to the flock. A church, we need to let this world see Jesus in our life. We need to be like God said, opposed to be Sister Lynn. I want to stand by the thank you for him. And no matter what it takes, I say, God, give me the strength that the Lord fight every weight in the sins with Jesus to save us. I want to put on your whole armor and let the world know that Jesus is a coming back for a church that's called by his name. He's real to me, sister, and I can't make it without him. He said, as Paul has lost his Savior, what good would it be? He cast it out and taught it on the foot of men. Without him, Brother Gary, we're nothing. Without God, we're nothing. Amen. Amen. I appreciate him, Brother Otto, because one day he chose me out of the world to bear his name. I know that he's real. He's done so much for me that I can never praise him, Brother David, enough. I can never do enough for him. I know that Jesus is real. I know that he's coming back, Sister Linda. And my heart yearns for this generation of people because they don't have no fear of God in their life. And you can tell them about Jesus, Brother Billy. And they look at you just like you don't know what you're talking about. But I want to tell them, Brother Frankie, no matter what the devil puts in their mind toward me, I want them to know that Jesus loves them. And God will go all the way with you. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He says, Lord, oh, I'll go all the way with you, even to the end of the world. All the way. Paul said, Paul said this, he said, all men forsake me, none stood with me. That's what he said. Sometimes we feel like nobody's standing with us, but God tells us. We hear a small voice says, I'm with you. I never leave you, I never forsake you. I don't care what you're going through. And there's a word in there will give you strength to go on another mile. And Brother oh, Gary, I believe this. Uh, I believe that when the devil comes around, uh, uh, trying to discourage, uh, we just need to rise, Brother David, and say it is written, God says, if I be for you, who can be against you? There's no weapon to form against you shall prosper. And that means a lot to us, Brother Otto. Uh, that means a lot to the body of Christ, Brother Gary. Uh, because we live in the end now. Uh, and the days are uh, evil. Uh, even every time and imagination uh, it's evil because uh, this world has set down on Jesus. Uh, America has turned their back on Jesus. Uh, and the God has still got somebody, uh, and Brother Gary, uh, a few, uh, a few that he's got, Brother David, uh, is going to stand uh, and tell somebody about him. Uh, he's got somebody, Brother Frankie, uh, that's going to let somebody know uh, that Jesus is alive. Uh, and God's not dead, church. Uh, but sometimes uh, we act like God is dead, uh, but we need to come alive. Uh, in the world, we need to come alive. In the Holy Ghost, and let this world see uh, the real bride, uh, the real church. Uh, they sin enough uh, of Brother Billy, uh, of this world. They sin enough uh, of the devil. They hear enough for the guy about the devil this time. Uh, and we begin to tell them about Jesus uh, and him crucified. Uh, the power's in the blood. Hallelujah. <laughs> David. <clears throat> David said in Psalms that many are the fictions of the righteousness, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. God is so precious to us. He's so real to us. Brother Gary, I love him. I've got a mind made up, Sister Lynn, I'm going to stand for him. If I had to stand alone, I'm going to tell the devil I'm going to stand for Jesus. I'm going to stand for him, Brother David. He stood for me when nobody else was stood, when nobody else could do what he'd done for you. And God had you on his mind. Uh, he said, I'll go there. I'll take the pain. I'll take the stripes. Uh, I'll take the bruises. I'll take the chastisement. I'll tie them. I will be the one that will stand for you. And because nobody else uh, will do it, I'll go, Father. All the way I'll stand with you. The church of God is a taking on your heart's door. Uh, please open up to him. Uh, 
Say God, I let you in. I'm sorry, God, that I failed you. But I thank you. When you want to walk away from God, your life is miserable. And the devil will destroy you. You step back, brother guy. And life is what you burn. And you lost. And the devil will destroy you. And the church will If you're ready, man. And the God has got somebody, brother, I told her, that's going to stand for him. And no matter what it takes, sister Linda, and God has got a church. And that's real that's called by his name. I appreciate it. I appreciate God. That's why I brought Gary that to the church today he fought so many parts of hell. I believe that's why this little church here is persecuted. And because there's something coming out of Brother David uh, and that's breaking the hearts of the people. Uh, and God has got a word uh, and that he's sent forth. Uh, the church, we need to get a hold of this word uh, and hang on to it for life because uh, without we can't make it. Uh, without the blood of Jesus, uh, you'll never go in uh, to that place that he prepared, uh, prepared for us. Uh, and David said, uh, if I send it to the heavens, uh, if I make my bed in hell, uh, you will be there. Uh, you can't get away from God. Uh, I don't care where you go. Uh, and God will be there. And David knew uh, what he was talking about, Brother Dewey. Uh, he knew, uh, Brother Frankie, uh, what he was saying. Uh, and though I send up to the heavens, don't make my bed in hell. And you'll be there. He said, I feel a foul space. Uh, and church, you can't hide from God. Uh, he knows exactly where you're at. Uh, and by the way, the blood was once shed. Uh, and let the devil walk over top of it. Uh, and by the blood of Jesus uh, was shed on Calvary. And me, you can live and have life more abundantly. Uh, the church, we need to be real for God. Uh, we need to stand for another guy uh, and let this world know that Jesus uh, is coming back for a bride that's called by his name. I love him. I appreciate him. <laughs> I love the Lord. I'm glad to be able to stand for him, Sister Linda, and do a work for him. I know that the word that we get here, Brother Dewey, it excites me. It thrills me. It stirs me up. It causes me, Sister Linda, to go home and, and begin to pray and seek God more. Brother Gary, I appreciate the word and God has sent to you. I just want to be able to say, God, and use me to help somebody like you use him to help me. And Brother Dave, I just want to do what God tells me to do. The only way we can be a help to somebody is say, God, you have your way with me. And before that we can be used, we're going to have to be real for God. If God's going to use your church, you're going to have to be real for him. Sister Lynn, I appreciate him. I appreciate the work that he's doing. And the devil may come many ways. He may come at us many ways, Brother Frankie. But we're going to stand on his word. Why? Because God has sent the word to us. And we're not going to be defeated. Uh, Sister Lena, we're going to stand for him uh, and let the world know uh, that Jesus has started good work uh, and we're going to see him perform uh, until the day that he comes. Hallelujah. <laughs> He's able to do it if we're let him. Yes. I know that God is He's going to come back soon. I want to be real for him. I want to stand for him and do everything that I can or why I can. He said, remember the Lord in the youth. You children, you need to take consideration that God loves you and God can use you. I always regret. I said, God, I regret that I ever, I ever turned to walk away. Sister Lynn, I started serving God when I was 16 years old. I'm going to I serve the Lord. I wasn't as close to God as I am now. But I regret that I ever walked away from Him. If you know God, stand on the Word. Don't let the devil cause you to turn and walk away from God. And you'll regret it. I appreciate him, Brother Curry, because I know that he's real. I pray. I say, God, I'm sorry that I ever done that. But God had to let me fall, Brother Frankie. He loved me so much, he had to let me fall. In order to wake me up and show me that I was in a lukewarm condition. That's how much God loves us, Sister Linda. God loves you. He will never see us destroyed by the enemy. If God has sent us somewhere to do a work, He will be right there. He will be right there with you to see it through. And the devil may come at us many ways, Brother Frankie. And the Lord may get a little rough, but some more. Uh, and just a few more steps down the road. Uh, and Brother, I pray she's going to smooth out. Uh, and then the devil's going to know uh, and that we defeat him. Uh, and when you come through one storm, and the devil knows that you had God's strength from that storm. Uh, and that's that's why he don't like this brother guy. Uh, and that's why he fights the church. Uh, and that's why he fights the blood of Jesus. Uh, and because he knows there's victory in the blood. Uh, he knows there's power in the blood of Jesus. Uh, he knows that your healing's in the blood. Uh, the faith comes by hearing. Uh, and hearing by the word of God. Uh, 
And we've had enough words out here from Brother Davis. And they throw in the battle run. And we discourage us. Why? Because and the words will build us up. And the words will give us the strength that we need. And the little guy to go another mile down the road. I appreciate him. I love him, Brother Gary. God is wanting somebody to pray. God is wanting somebody to come to him. And open up your heart to him. I feel that there's a soul in this building tonight that God is speaking to at your last time. You say, how do you know that? Because I can feel it. God is speaking to somebody's heart. Church, whatever you do, don't walk away from him. Don't turn your back on God because it may be your last opportunity. There's been a many that went to hell to sit out of door tomorrow, God. The rich man, he lifted his eyes out of hell and he's seen, he seen Abraham. He's seen Lazarus in Abraham's bosom. He said, see him one, my brother. And those guys said, well, the man could preach a lost message. That man could preach one, I believe. And God is speaking to somebody's heart tonight. I plead the blood that you won't turn your back or walk away from God. And God knows what you're doing tonight, church. Uh, let's all stand and pray this moment. And God will touch this heart to this mind and that this yoke will be destroyed. Lift your hands and pray that God will have his way. Let's be obedient to the word of God, to the spirit of God. Lord Jesus, God, we pray for God tonight.
Thank you.